Hi, I'm Dr. Christine Moore from Plano, Texas. I'm a chiropractor and I specialize in pediatrics and nutrition. Today we're talking about colic, which is one of the biggest things that I get calls for and it will keep the entire household up all night and very upset in this. So to the biggest cause of colic is not burping the baby properly and having air and gas trapped inside their little bodies. So we're gonna learn how to feed and burp right now. So here we go. When your baby's hungry, when your baby's hungry, pick it up, feed from one side. If it's a bottle fed baby, use the same process. You just have to do it for a shorter period of time because the bottle comes out so much faster than the breast, okay? So breastfed baby, count one to 60. They're gonna be gulping. They're gonna take in a lot of air in this first 60 seconds. Nurse for 60 seconds, one, two, three. Take the baby off. You're going to put them in the burping position. It can be over the shoulder like this. And you're gonna wait for that adult size burp. You wanna get it up, that air bubble back out before you put any more food in that baby's tummy because the air is gonna take the place of the food. Just rub on the baby's back and then you can even pat it, okay? Big adult burp comes out, take the baby down, feed on the same side again. Count to 120 the second time. First time is 60, second time 120. Once you've counted to 120, take that baby off. You can put it back up over the shoulder. Again, pushing up, doing this, or you can put the baby down like this and hold it with your hand in the tummy till you get another good sized burp. Now most of the feeding has already taken place. After that second burp, you take the baby and feed from the opposite side, okay? Let that baby nurse until they start kind of pulling away. They're done. After that third time, they can nurse as long as they want, pick them off the breast or the bottle, put them into a position again to burp. You'll hear a little bubble, not a, kind of a gurgle come up, not necessarily a really big burp if the two first previous burps have been effective. Now we wanna check and see if uh, there's any gas or bubbles trapped. You squeeze on the lower angle of the ribs. If the baby stays soft like this, then there's no gas there. Come up a little higher, squeeze again. If they flare their arms like this, then there is still gas trapped in the body at this level. You wanna start pushing up at that level very easily and patting up until they get that last bubble out. If it is a reluctant bubble or they're a reluctant burp, move the baby upside down. Hold it there for a little bit until the gas bubble moves to the top of the stomach. Then you're going to invert the baby very quickly again. And again, that might be all it takes. Rub the baby's back, pat a little bit, squeeze and check for any flaring all the way up into the armpits. And that is how you properly burp your baby for a peaceful night and a peaceful baby.